let me walk you through how I was able to change my background from this to this in just a few minutes using CapCut alone. You heard me right, CapCut alone. I didn't use Leonardo AI. I did not use Adobe Firefly or other AI tools. I only used CapCut. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bidemi. My kind of person, I always look for the easiest way to get the job done. I have seen lots of videos talking about how to generate um, fake background using Leonardo AI, Adobe Firefly, and all other AI tools. But then you have to generate from one website, import to another site like Canva before importing to CapCut. But in this video, you are just going to do everything on CapCut. I'm going to walk you through the process and I'm going to give you some tips that would enhance your video quality so that you can get wonderful results just like I have here. Some people might have tried to use AI to generate background but they were not satisfied with the results. You cannot generate an image on CapCut or any of these other artificial intelligence without having the right prompt. I'm also going to walk you through how to generate the perfect prompt that will give you the quality image or background of your choice. Before we dive right into it, there are some things we need to put in place. The first thing I want us to put in place is have a stable surface where you can actually record from. If you do not have a tripod, put your phone on a stable surface where you can actually film from. Please do not give your phone to someone to film you if you want to change your background because in most cases, their hand will be unstable. It should be a bit wobbly. And at the end of it all, it won't give you the desired result. It will be a bit glitchy and you wouldn't like how it's it will come out. If you are filming with your phone, use your back camera. And the reason why you need to use your back camera is because the quality of your video will be enhanced. Compared to your front camera, the megapixel for your front camera is lower to that of your back camera. So it's advisable that you use your back camera. Before we dive right into it, please, I just want to take a few minutes of your time to solicit your support. Please subscribe to this channel for more self-improvement tips or other video that might impact you as a content creator. Like this video, help me drive engagement on this channel, help us push this video out. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Once you shoot your video, try as much as possible to make sure your background is plain Try as much as possible not to use too many hand gestures. Someone like me, I love to demonstrate when talking. And when you use too many hand gestures, it can actually make the video glitch. You might notice it is fake. If you notice me, I am actually using my hand gesture right in front of my body. I'm not trying to make it go out the way I normally do. Because I've shot some videos and I realized that this is the best way. Try as much as possible not to put on earrings as well because it might interact with the quality of your video look as simple as you can also try to put on a color of clothes that is quite different from your background because if your background looks very similar to your clothes then there would be a, a bit of interaction and of confusion when it comes to removing the background now let's dive right into it so after shooting your video the next thing you have to do is go to chat gpt Ask ChatGPT to help you write a prompt on a well-lit bedroom, a studio. Describe what you want in the background for ChatGPT. So it will help you refine your prompt. Copy this. Then you go to CapCut. As soon as you open CapCut, you just scroll up this fourth place here. It's test to image. So you'd see a sample by um, CapCut. You just delete what they have in the box, paste what you copied from ChatGPT, and it will generate images. There are different sizes to this. If you do not want this type of image, you click on this small dot here. 
you choose the size of image you want for youtube we want this 16.9 use the prompt again to regenerate new images but this time around it will give you the youtube size images so you could use this for youtube background if you don't like these images you can regenerate or you click on the image and save it then you go up here that small star just exit using that so when you exit it brings you back to this page now you click on new project so when you click on new project go to photos in the middle pick any of the generated images import to cap cut stretch the image making it the exact lens of your video on click or on alight your image by just tapping on your screen then go to effects video effect click on trending just scroll you see blow on the right hand side yeah, click on it and adjust it because it's just to blur. Adjust to your satisfaction. The blur effect will appear as a segment on its own. So you have to pull it to the end of the video. Tap the arrow to hide the effect. Tap on the screen to be sure the video is not alighted. Then you can import your video using overlay. Now you go to video, not photos this time. Import the video of your choice. As soon as you import, drag to fit. While your overlay is still alighted, scroll down below here to cut out. Yeah, that is it. Click on it. Go to remove background. Then you remove the background and that's it. Voila. Your fake background is ready. But you could actually play around your video by adjusting do you want to move it to the right or to the left you can just do whatever you want to make your video fit the screen once you're done playing around click on export and that's it you have successfully completed your artificial background tutorial please subscribe to this channel Tell me what you enjoyed about this video. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Pop it in the comment section. If there's any other thing you want to know about editing, pop it in the comment section. Ask questions. I am going to be waiting for you in the comment section. Thank you so much. Take care and bye.